Diazepam is commonly prescribed for muscle spasms and seizures. Where misused, diazepam can result in addiction, overdose and even death. In this video, we'll break down the important questions you may have about this medication. Diazepam belongs to a group of medications called benzodiazepines. These medications work by increasing the levels of the neurochemical GABA. GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter that promotes anxiety reduction, sleepiness and muscle relaxation with further effects as an anticonvulsant. Because of these effects, diazepam is licensed for use to treat anxiety, muscle spasms and seizures. Diazepam can be prescribed as a pre-medication to calm you before medical procedures. Is there anyone who shouldn't take diazepam? It's best to speak with your doctor before taking this medication if you have any of the following conditions. You've had a previous allergic reaction to diazepam or other benzodiazepines. Have a condition which causes impairment of the function of the nerves and muscles required to breathe. You suffer from a condition known as sleep apnea syndrome. And some patients with unstable myasthenia gravis. Is diazepam safe in pregnancy and breastfeeding? Diazepam use in pregnancy may result in your baby experiencing withdrawal symptoms after birth. If used late in pregnancy, your baby may be drowsy after birth. This medication should also be avoided where possible among breastfeeding mothers. Diazepam is expressed in breast milk and can be ingested by your baby. In these cases, mothers may find that their baby becomes drowsy or even falls asleep during feeds. In both cases, your doctor will need to weigh up the risk versus the benefits of taking the medication before continuing your prescription. What's the correct dose of diazepam? Diazepam is available in a variety of strengths, ranging from 2 to 10 milligrams. The regime of 2 milligrams, taken three times a day, is commonly used for anxiety. Higher doses may be required depending on your indication. When prescribed diazepam, it's important to use the lowest strength required for the shortest period to reduce your risk of addiction. How to take your diazepam? Take your diazepam as prescribed by your doctor. Tablet and liquid preparations may be taken with or without food, but please take them alongside a glass of water. For some, diazepam can cause drowsiness and even impair your vision. So it's best to avoid driving or using heavy machinery, particularly if you're new to this medication and you're not sure how it's going to affect you. Is diazepam addictive? It is possible to become addicted to diazepam, therefore it's important to take the lowest dose for the shortest amount of time. In the majority of cases, diazepam is not used as a long-term medication. Individuals who become dependent on diazepam may experience withdrawal symptoms if they suddenly stop the medication. Symptoms of withdrawal can include agitation, irritability, sweating, diarrhea, increased confusion and even seizures. How long does it take for diazepam to work? Diazepam gets to work within minutes of you taking the medication, so you should start feeling the benefits soon after your first dose. Are there any foods I should avoid? You should avoid any grapefruit products. This is because grapefruits contain a chemical that can interfere with your body's natural ability to break down diazepam. In combination, grapefruit can increase the amount of diazepam present in your bloodstream, increasing your risk of drug overdose. Additionally, drinks which contain the stimulant caffeine may inhibit the relaxing effect of diazepam. Therefore, it's advisable to avoid any tea and coffee whilst taking this medication. Can I drink alcohol with this medication? You should avoid consuming alcohol alongside diazepam. This combination can make you feel very drowsy and reduce your consciousness level. In some, this reduced consciousness could be life-threatening. You may be unable to breathe effectively and be unable to wake up. I've missed my dose, what should I do? If you forget to take your diazepam on time, don't worry, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it's almost time for your next dose, skip the missed dose. Remember to take your next dose at the regular time. Please don't double dose to make up for a missed one. I've accidentally taken too much medication. Diazepam in overdose can be extremely dangerous and even a risk to your life. Symptoms of overdose can include drowsiness, dizziness, confusion, poor coordination, difficulty breathing, lethargy and weakness, and even loss of consciousness. If you believe you've taken an overdose of this medication, please seek emergency assessment. Are there any side effects? Fortunately, most will not experience any side effects. However, as with all medications, side effects can occur. Common side effects associated with diazepam are tremors, slurred speech or poor coordination, 
mood changes, even increased anxiety, muscle weakness, dizziness, and drowsiness. Rarely, people may experience more concerning side effects. If you experience any of the following, please consult with your doctor urgently. A change in behavior, such as increased confusion, aggression, or agitation, increased paranoia, hallucinations or delusions, where individuals may hear or see things that aren't real, slowing or stopping of your breathing, severe drowsiness and unconsciousness, particularly if taken alongside alcohol or opiate-based painkillers, urinary retention, and this is where people are unable to pass urine freely. Finally, allergic reactions are concerning as they can be life-threatening. Fortunately, life-threatening allergic reactions are rare. Those with serious allergic reactions should call emergency services for assistance. Symptoms of a severe allergic reaction can include swelling of the face, lips, mouth and throat, difficulty breathing, wheezing or chest tightness, and even an allergic skin rash. Of course, this list is not exhaustive, and for a full list of side effects, please refer to the drug information leaflet that comes with your medications. I hope this video has supplied the answers you were looking for. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.